my name is Maria and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a dish called banuelos. And what banuelos are, are a deep fried dough that's rolled in sugar and cinnamon afterwards. And so the dish I have is um, very popular during Christmas time to make these cookies. And you're going to use two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, three-fourths cup of warm water, and four tablespoons of oil. So you're going to mix all of that together, and then you're going to knead it for probably about eight to ten minutes. And then once you've got it all into a, like a little ball, like this one, you're going to cover it up and let it rest for 30 minutes. And so that's what I'm going to do here with this. And so there's no yeast in this dish, so that it's not going to rise, but it'll, it'll turn out looking. Once you get it out and you let it rest, you can, you can do a number of things. Um, one recipe had me pull out eight different sections and then roll each one into a ball. And then as you can see, you, you use your rolling pin and roll it into a circle. Mine doesn't look much like a circle, looks more like an amoeba, so I gotta work on that. But I'm sure yours will turn out great. And so what you do is once you roll it out, then you're going to deep fry it. And so I'm gonna show you, if you can see that. I'm deep frying it and I'm going to turn it over. It does not take long at all because it's rolled out pretty thin. And so this is some hot oil. You don't use olive oil for this. You're going to use a high heat oil like canola oil, which is what I have. There are other types that you can use, whatever you prefer. And now I'm just going to drain it over here on some paper towels and a plate. Now one thing, you can do it that way where you roll it out into a circle or you can cut them into like little strips, make them smaller cookies and that's what I did with these. And that's actually how my mom would do it. She would, she would roll them out into one big piece and then cut them into different shapes. And so that's what we've got going on here. And this oil is pretty hot. But you want it pretty hot because you want that nice golden brown color and you want it to be cooked all the way through. And then there we go. There's one piece. And then if you cut them smaller, then you could end up eating more cookies that way. Because when you have it big, like this big circle, you could end up feeling guilty eating more than one, right? Because this is kind of a big cookie right here. So you're just going to roll it in your cinnamon and sugar mixture. And that's all it is. It's just cinnamon and sugar. I put in half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon, tablespoon of cinnamon. Now, because of its being done in Christmas time, it's popular in Christmas time, you can actually use, instead of white sugar, you can use red or green sugar. Um, a lot of people like to do both. And then that way it's pretty colorful and festive. So now once it's um, covered in your sugar, there's your banuelo. And so you can do the big ones or the little ones or a combination of both. And I'm gonna let you see that it's crispy, but it's also soft and it's just kind of a, a, fun, a fun cookie to eat. Kind of like a little thin donut in a sense. And so these are done in Mexico, but they're also very popular throughout the world. A lot of um, different countries have them and they just call them different names. 
So in Mexico de Banuelos, and I hope you enjoy them. Give them a chance. Try it out for Christmas if you have time. Um, it's something different that you can give to your friends. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a great day.